how much did you know about the secret bank accounts at HSBC? MPs, broadcasters, journalists have been keen for several weeks to speak to the former Trade Minister, the Reverend Lord Green of Hurstpear Point, about his other previous roles as Chairman and Chief Executive of HSBC, the bank that admitted setting up accounts under its Swiss operations that had been used to avoid and evade tax. Today, he was at a church event in the City of London. Our Chief Correspondent, Alex Thompson, went along to see if he could have a word. He joins us live now. Alex. Yes, ordained the former unelected Tory uh, minister here to lecture the world about, amongst other things, avarice and greed. He's widely reported to be having a, a £19 million pension scheme since he's left HSBC. Notorious for not answering any questions, uh, l least of all parliamentary questions, which people like Margaret Hodge of the Public Accounts Committee wished to ask him. So we went along, listened to the lecture, and when it came to questions, we attempted to ask some. This is what happened. Um, I know camera's not welcome tonight, but obviously we have some questions which we'd like to put to you. First and foremost would be, how much did you know about the secret bank accounts at HSBC? I think the country demands an answer to that, not simply the people in this church tonight. So I wonder, first off, if you could, if you could answer. No, please, this is is it, it's an important question. Excuse and I think, me, I think, it's a church. I think Lord I'm Green sorry, should be church. given the chance to answer the question. It's a church, excuse me? Lord Green, me? what is your answer to that? Well, for legal reasons, you're probably getting not the full editorial content there. We were, our cameraman was certainly manhandled out of the church. However, both the chairman and, you have to say, Lord Green himself, Stephen Green, were quite happy to answer the questions. Once things had calmed down and the people in the church had uh, settled down and gone back to their pews, including myself, uh, he duly answered two key questions. One, how much did he know about these secretive uh, tax avoidance accounts in Switzerland? And secondly, Margaret Hodge's question, if he didn't know, was he asleep on the job? If he did, was he just up to his neck in skullduggery and malpractice? I would like to share with my colleagues who have been before the committees uh, recently with dismay and regret uh, about what happened. Um, the, we worked hard at uh, setting high standards. I personally have always worked hard at setting and seeking to follow high standards in my career. Um, and so what happened? Uh, was dismay um, and a source of deep regret, unquestionably. Um, I am proud of having worked for HSBC. I think it's a great company. I think it provides great service to people around the world. When I was there, it was operating in more than 80 countries, delivering services to individuals and businesses of all shapes and sizes. I'm proud of that. Did we uh, get everything right? Maybe not. Um, did we work hard at trying to do the right thing? Yes, we did. Um, and I'm also proud of the way uh, the present leadership team is taking it forward and learning from the experiences and seeking to build. Well, yes, I hope you were getting the sort of uh, somewhat echoey feel and sense of that. The gist of it, in terms of Margaret Hodge's question, at least, he didn't know what was going on. Some people will say that's a huge indictment. Other people would say the CEO who knows what's really going on in business uh, has yet to exist on this planet. So you can take your pick there. Um, I should stress this was a public meeting to which anyone was invited and indeed invited to sit, listen to the lecture and ask questions, which we duly did. Uh, also, as a final postscript, very warm and friendly chat with uh, Stephen Green afterwards, and we've left our name and number, and hopefully we can have a proper sit down in slightly more civilized circumstances. Back to you. Alex Thompson.